So I'm just finishing off this Ideal Vogue installation here. And I was asked, or I was told, that why don't I put my own work on? So I'm just commissioning this today. So just a few things to show you. One is the flue. So we've sealed the flue with sand and cement. Just needs to finish off and then seal go back on. We've, cement, we've cemented the wall back up on there. If we have a look underneath at the pipe work, the pipe work is okay. Um, we've got a compression fitting elbow on the blow off on the PRV, which is what you need on this boiler. Also, the gas pipe is sealed through the wall. We've got a shock arrestor on this. The reason we've got a shock arrestor, the reason we've got a shock arrestor is it's got a water meter and in the installation instructions it says that if it's got a water meter then you need to have a, a mini shock arrestor and if we have a look outside if we have a look at the flue outside we can see there's no white on show on here so on the ideal boilers you're not allowed to have white on show on the flue so that's installed correctly the gas we've updated the gas we did actually damage the brickwork it wasn't actually me but you can blame me if you want i don't mind um, so what we've done is we've got some red brick dye and we've just tried to tidy that up the best we can. The sleeve for the gas is open so you need to leave the, the gas open on the outside and also the joint is not in the wall so you're not allowed to have the joint in the wall on the gas and the gas pipe work is 28 mil, millimetre pipe. So that's just a little look at the Ideal Vogue installation. As I say, I, well, I'll do a full video on this job and I'll put it onto my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.